Sounds good. What's up, everybody? Tristan's Shop Talk, episode 30. Welcome, everybody. Finally made it back to the poll. So here we are, Mod. <laughs> made it back. Yeah, we made it back to the poll. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. That's what Robert Mungo says on, on his video. Oh, when he I'm, talks I, about I'm, the I'm, I'm, I'm stealing it from him. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> from Ro- a Robert, Robert Mungo was the uh, last episode we had, which was uh, our comedian. Um, he came through and hey, talked it up. So shout out to Robert Mungo. Uh, shout out back on the poll. Mungo. Um, yeah, back on the poll indeed. Jeez. So, yeah, um, here we are. Been a mile. It's been a minute since uh, January, February. Now it's already the end of February, but it's all good. Uh, it's just trying to keep it consistent. Uh, quite a few things just to go over what's been going on. And Ahmad's been busy. I've been busy. So here we are. We finally be able to finally came in just to go ahead and lay it down and get lay an episode it all in. All the way down. <laughs> so what's been up, man? Uh, a lot. A lot. Yeah, but not very much at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, just you know, personal issues and work issues. Those things that always... None of those persist. issues you would like to dive into? I don't know. I don't know if I can dive into the work issues. <laughs> no, no. not Maybe not the... Well, I guess hearsay or whatever. You know, the world of education. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, just trying to raise the children as best as possible. Not for that. The situation. You know. But, yeah, I've been busy with work and uh, going to basketball practice. And my son's playing basketball, so... All that good stuff. Yeah. And managing a daughter who's about to be a teenager. Oh, wow. And yeah, that is a lot. Yeah, next week she'll be 13. That's a lot in 2024. Yeah, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. Yeah, but work is crazy, you know? So, yeah. Working on some battery, po- battery powers, just making sure. Okay. So, uh, yeah. yeah. You, 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 you. Okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah. No, can you? See, well, maybe I would have had it. Yeah, because there's no monitor to it, so we're trying not to. I know I can't. It's weird. I can't see myself. Yeah, so it is kind of like we're in this room talking to ourselves. Which no, we're talking to a, ca- a camera. Yeah, well, we are, but I mean, this camera is a lot better than the last crap we were using. So this is the. Uh, yeah, I could see myself. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll just say in general, the end of February, um, since January to now, obviously elections are going on, new. Last, uh, I guess one of the episodes we had, we had actually already uh, introduced uh, Whitmire, or I guess Whitmire was the, or oh, actually, I don't know if we uh, John, actually did an episode. <laughs> John Whitmire? Yeah, so here in Houston, we have a new mayor. Yeah, does it matter? No, not really. Do you feel anything? Nah, just the fact that I know he, uh, he's he been just clearing house, cleaning I had house. To, uh, I had to see him speak on the Lakewood shooting before I was like, oh yeah, that is the mayor. Yeah, speaking of that happened last week, uh, yeah. the Lakewood shooting. So, was or about la- two no, two weeks Super ago, Bowl. it was the day of the Super Bowl. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. It yeah, was. It was right yeah, was the Super Bowl. Jeez. So that happened. Yeah, that definitely happened. Um, yeah, man, that was crazy. Mm-hmm. I yeah. do know. Uh, obviously, the female was shot in the Lakewood church uh, by an uh, off-duty officer. Yeah. And then, but two like, of them. But yeah, but there was a child that was actually I shot. Oh, how's that kid doing? Uh, apparently they need to go into surgery again for yeah, the child. It's gotta be wild, man. Um, going into surgery for that child, but yeah. the, I, as far as I know, from what I had saw in the newspaper, on I don't know how true that is, but they they took off the rest. I don't know. I think the child's breathing on its own now, but they, they ah, the, the child still, it. but the child's still in critical condition. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, damn. Did that jump in there? <laughs> yeah. Why does your phone tell you? Why it just it does that. Just does that. Yeah, but uh, then there was a shooting at the Super Bowl. Uh, the the Kansas City Chiefs. Parade. Yeah, that was that happened recently. And they were hoping that was something that you could really sink your teeth in, but it was just two brothers. <laughs> yeah, fighting. <laughs> Who said it was on on site? And it was on on site. They saw each other, and it was on. Now, on what site. I can More say on shooting. on the pop culture on that was uh, was the. Uh, and culture. No, oh, I saw that. Yeah, I just barely. And saw we could bring that up. Uh, what about it? So what happened? Ann Coulter was a guest on Bill Meyer, mm-hmm. and Bill Meyer explained, you know, which is in question was had this had had the the assailants or whoever had did the shootings had they listed if the names? A, if it had been a white male, 
So what she brought up, she right. says, obviously, white, she right. goes, obviously, there were, she said it right there, bluntly. She said, obviously, it was two, possibly two minorities or black males. No, it was two black dudes from the hood in yeah, Kansas but, City but, who but, saw but, each other at the parade, and it was on on site. Yeah, but I'm saying, but but, but her angle on the on the conversation, which Ma, Bill Meyer was being kind of like almost, you know, yeah, to the I fact, like, did they, did they, did they, like, you know, who, 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 who was it? And then. Well, Obviously. he said, yeah, I remember he said, well, they don't know who it was. And then Ann Coulter she goes. Was like, that's how we know it wasn't a white male. Yeah, right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, we know Gabriel, whatever. I mean, but it was, it's because of the, the, the situation. If it were actually a mass shooting, somebody coming out trying to kill people, then they'd be fine. But it's just, you know, two black teenagers who were probably. But it's so weird how they're so selective people. about releasing information like that. Like, just, yeah, I mean, if, it, if it's more, it's almost like, I guess with anything, like if it's more saucy yeah. or more, if there's more, like more to it, then they're willing to release yeah. right away and let them know what's going on. I mean, it's probably, uh, <clears throat> they probably have a point. I guess, but it's 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 the point to me is that uh, I I think they really want to uh, delve into the problem of uh, of uh, white males who have some sort of mental thing. They're trying to figure out why they would go and do something like that, and I don't think they care about two Negroes shooting at each other. <laughs> they kind of just let that go. They kind of just, un- they're like, oh, well, that's, and The that's reason I'm laughing is. is because it's no, the way I you mean, made it. Yeah, that's what it is. So <laughs> the they're way like, you made oh. Because as soon as I saw, like I saw, uh, I don't know, something online where they were, uh, they had one of the dudes in handcuffs, and I'm like, oh, okay, I know what the fuck that was. Yeah. yeah it wasn't a mass shit. Well, I mean, Number the, one, nobody got I mean, within hit. minutes, you had video. People got hurt being trampled. Within minutes, you already... <laughs> nobody but got Yeah, hit. yeah, so there was just, video. It you, was two dudes with their guns sideways just busting. So, and then yeah. did you see the video? Like, it posted within, like, seemed like 30 minutes of the shooting. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> within I mean, 30 minutes of the shooting, you obviously that. saw who it was, and then you obviously saw, like, there was, you know, yeah. it wasn't an older guy. It was, like, a, yeah. seemed like some younger dude. So I guess she's saying, she's trying to say, that. well, why don't we talk about black-on-black crime? It's like they've been talking about black-on-black. They know that it exists, and they don't really care like they're like ah shit well you know we can't stop them from coming to the victory parade (laughs) so it's just one of those things it's just one of those things that we accept that that happens and when it's uh some sort even with this lady even though she was hispanic even with her you want to know well why would she bring a child why would she do that and just you know to Dudes from the hood beef and shoot with each other is not but, that big a deal. But I but I can say it like I've said it before, and and there's no money in the world for mental patients. Oh, there's money for it. Well, there's you money for it, but I, but I, money but it. I'm saying like like versus you know Especially when, when, you're, when you're trying with to be that a kind of mental illness. Like I know plenty of mentally ill people that just get on my nerves, and they're just nerve wracking mentally ill <laughs> but you know when you get down to like yeah but shoot everybody that's a different deal but she was just trying to commit suicide and kill her baby too that was suicide by cop i yeah. guess she probably wanted to take some people out also like i don't know if she'd ever been to lakewood um but uh i don't know how she got in with that though no she went in with a trench coat that's that's know, another thing like, she made it all they, the way in there with the trench coat in in, in lakewood like you got it's like going to an actual rockets game you got to put your from what but, i understood i've never been but you know uh but I, but i just wife and my children go from time to time i don't know i don't know if it's because i was in the navy i'm pretty vigilant but the fact that when i walk around i'm always watching out yeah, it was I'm unseasonably warm that day also and she had a trench coat on. <laughs> no but even i feel i've always i've okay, always been very the vigilant thing is, did she have a trench coat on and the baby had on shorts because then you should be like oh that's weird <laughs> Well, I would just be weirded out by seeing a woman in a black trench coat, you know? I mean, I mean. I don't know. Maybe you would have if you were trying to be vigilant. If you were just in no, there praising the Lord. No, but I, I am very vigilant. Like, even I, I can say even if I'm there, the maybe I'm, like, I'll still be, like, you know, yeah. kind of, like, looking or whatever, you know? Yeah. And see, the thing, well, maybe she knew that the Spanish language service wasn't as uh, heavily um, uh, secured. Because I know that morning service, I don't know, like when all the cameras are on, Yeah, I don't know if she would have gotten in on that Well, one. I have a family member that, that does extra work there, that does the officer work, so yeah. like, 
Like I, I, I mean, but he wasn't working that day. Yeah. So I mean, thank God. But I mean, still, I mean, I, I, like I said, I don't know how that security works there, but. Mm-hmm. I think everywhere should just have extra security no matter what. But. Yeah, they should. But, I mean, those poor guys just go there for 60, 70 bucks an hour. Like, they, they, don't, they yeah. don't want that shit to happen. Yeah. They're like, oh, God. They got that good. I got, it's like, yeah, I got a great extra job. They're like, it's uh, Lakewood. And they're like, really? He's like, yeah, it's a Spanish service, but, you know, it's Lakewood. <laughs> the main yeah. service probably pays a little bit more. Yeah. Well, than, I mean, I no, well, I know Spanish he he language. does like hours, so he's there for like a good five hours Ooh. or so. The family member that works there. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. man, you know what kind of job? Oh yeah, even just directing traffic after you know cops. I mean, that yeah. that shit's lovely. That's crazy. Yeah, I have a, I have a, a friend that's a, a police officer who was like, oh, look like it's an extra job open up. Yeah, but that see, but, but see what I'm saying? Like, but then when some when some thing goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when thing goes hits the yeah. fan, when it hits the fan, then it's well, like, it's, yeah. then it's like, damn, I don't get paid enough for this. Well, know? that's just being a cop. <laughs> like, I, I know plenty. I've I wouldn't say all cops think like that, but I'm just saying. No, I mean, you know, it's one of those things where it's a very uh i don't want to say easy but you know depending upon where you work it can be very cool but then you know when it pops off it pops off i mean the dude went to church thinking he was just gonna go to church and then next thing you know he before church is over he's he somebody's killed who are you talking about the off-duty cop that shot the woman there was a tabc officer in an hpd officer. oh okay there well was a tabc agent excuse me but they were HPD they were holding agent. though well they had to be they weren't going to church they were the uh they were working extra jobs yeah, but I'm still saying though, like you're still going to church to just protect the church. And no, you're going you know, for seventy bucks an hour. Right, but you didn't. But and but, you're but, like, yeah, but you, I think I think that's job. the last thing on your list. Oh, it is. Church, that's why you know? you're so glad to that, get that damn Lakewood job. Wouldn't you like to have that if you were a cop? I would love to have that. I think it'd be more until this happened. More. And then there were other guys on the other side of the building, and nothing happened. There's food. And, like it's probably dope working there. It's all kind of women walking in and out there. You know, cops. <laughs> It's bad, <laughs> but but then Chicks even then, around. then even oh, then though, God. it's still like, um, I mean, yeah, you get taken care of, but I mean, you're still yeah. See, but that see, but that there, that's a breakdown. That should have yeah. been stopped at the door. Yeah, like hold up, like it's still you know about to be twelve thousand people coming in here. It can't be like a regular church because it's easy to shoot up churches. Like right? <sighs> the church I grew up in, I, 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 one of the ladies, her nephew was the extra job cop, but that fool wasn't always there. You could have just walked in. My church is right downtown. Anybody could have walked in there and just shot it up. Yeah. You know, unfortunately. Yeah. But, you know, she wanted to go out with a bang. Like, she didn't have to just go. Well, you know, if she wanted to kill people, she wouldn't have gone to Lakewood. If she was, I, I guess you can say there's a lot of people, but, like, there's a lot of people in that lobby. Like, you walk into Lakewood, and then you got to walk into the auditorium. Right. Right. So she could have shot people in the hallway. No, yeah, she made it a purpose to go inside. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I don't know if she was she was trying to kill herself, I reckon, and the baby. But I think it was a, a long rifle that she had. Yeah, she had a long rifle. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and then that was another like, thing. Bitch, like, bitch, uh, like, uh, you know, you're going to die, so <laughs> why don't you just liquidate your bank account and buy you some shit that you can conceal? <laughs> like, she took, if she had a handgun, she'd probably got a few fools, but she <laughs> pulled out, and, and you wouldn't have to wear a trench coat. This, <laughs> yeah, that bitch was crazy as fuck. I don't know where she thought she was. No, and then, hey, but, but it kind of worked. It worked. Like you goofy bitch. Like really? Like I don't know. Yeah. If you like, you know, you're gonna die. Like why keep? Or you're gonna go to? Why keep any money in the bank? Just liquidate it and go get you a nice heckler and Koch with an extended clip. And you could. Yeah, but I, I don't think anybody mentally ill really thinks about materialistic type of things. It's not know? materialistic. I'm talking <laughs> about getting the job done. <laughs> well, yeah, but even thinking on that note, I that think bitch she's limped in I'm there. Thinking like the, she, I'm thinking she the. She limped in there. Like she limped in there. She, the she she, she the thought rope. of a trench coat, a weapon, a, a long rifle at yeah, that. Yeah, she thought and enough of that. She, yeah, but but that's what I'm saying. I feel with the sense of even going at that angle, there's no sense already there to even go no, better at it. No, <laughs> it's just her reasoning's fucked up. She's like, okay, I'm gonna take the the AR. What she have? Or did I she heard have it was like a long a, rifle. She just had a hunting rifle. I heard it was a long rifle. She had like. a hun- the hunting <laughs> rifle her dad yeah. left through when he died. Yeah. So she just had like a. And maybe I need. Maybe I need to check that. Like shit a Remington there, I mean. fucking hunting rifle. That's what I heard. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, I would understand the trench coat, you know. Yeah, like that's <laughs> what I'm saying. So she was like, "Okay, I'm gonna take the." Remington. I mean, 
I mean, even Joel Osteen up. said, thank God it wasn't even, I mean, he literally said it. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Like nothing else really happened. Oh, like it yeah, would happen. Yeah, yeah. But then I was still like, yo, bro, like a child still got shot, you know? Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but that was her fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what Finner said. Finner was like, yeah, yeah. What did he say? He said, uh, uh, anything happened to that baby and I'm going to put that blame on the uh, person who came in shooting. Yeah. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah. Yeah, he, he pretty much blamed the whole situation on... Well, I mean, it uh, was, you know, like, yeah, none, none of that would have happened if it weren't for her. Yeah, but you know me, I like to stir it, so I'm going to stir it. Like, the stir third it. part it would be, like, like, what officers passed by her as she walked by? What? <laughs> yeah, you know, or, or like, you know what? No, no, no. Because my no, daughter, he, I was sitting there watching the Super Bowl with her, and my daughter actually, you know, she and her mother go from time to time, and she was like, yeah, they usually, that, that's the entrance where they check your bags. So I guess they didn't check her. They're like, we don't check check coats. Or or just imagine being maybe that guy who maybe did see her and didn't think nothing of it, officer yeah, or not officer no, or yeah. female or not female or whatever, yeah. you know, you know, going in and then you just see somebody. I think the baby coat. put him at ease. They're like, well, maybe she's sick, or you know, I don't know. I have no idea. Why but she's but what happened after that? A lot of people came out. I think a few I saw on on, on uh, X was uh, they were saying that. This is the other reason why we need to control firearms. I'm like, it was a long arm rifle. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't an rifle. AR. It wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't a. It wasn't a Glock with a switch on yeah. there. It wasn't nothing like that. Which a long rifle is not <laughs> too much different from just your standard AR, uh, to be honest. So I was like, it has nothing to do with any of that. With it, but I don't know why <laughs> you'd come in there. Yeah. So yeah, uh, shooting deer. So that happened. Yeah, that did happen. Yeah. And then I'm. Oh, and then um, I wanted to show you on the uh, bouncing off of that one. I wanted to show you uh, President Biden. The, oh, you're bouncing off. That's not a segue. Not, so, like yeah. speaking of people Dang, see, I shooting that up, one up churches. <laughs> let's show the Joe Biden thing. Well, I thought it would be a little bit off the down subject of talking about. You know, I mean, it's actually something funny. I thought it was just funny. The, the shooting. No, 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 no. <laughs> The President Biden. I think we went uh, in. We first went into something that so recently happened. So this is happened. levity. Yeah, this is almost okay. this. Yeah, yeah. This there you go. The levity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm learning about that now about transitioning. How mm, to transition into yeah. the paragraph. Right. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I'm in school now. Yeah, I know your sequence uh, words. Yeah, I'm um, writing. I actually wrote like a thousand page paper. I got I got pretty good. A thousand on it. pages? I mean I'm sorry, a thousand word. Uh, see, I can't even see. I'm not even good about explaining what paper. I even did. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's like war and peace. You were a thousand thousand words. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But but like like I guess with the ADHD I have, whatever, mm-hmm. apparently my thoughts get all kind of scattered and mm-hmm. off and You think that's what it is? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean I I'm having to go to I'm literally going to tutoring for where I'm going to this tutoring and literally they're, you know, I'm telling them that I'm actually rewriting what I'm reading yeah, to understand it better. And they, uh, say, they say, actually, that's not a bad idea. It's I mean, not. It's time consuming. Yeah, it's very time consuming. You but, should just learn to annotate. Uh, but man, when I look at things and it's just no interest in it, it's just, it's just like, like my mind literally starts thinking about other things. It'll start so thinking about mine, this podcast. But you have to fight that. Yeah, but but still, it's just still. I think it's more brain power to fight it than just to kind of like hell with hell with what I need to do. Let me just go ahead and do what my mind's telling me to do. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Impulsive, like that Gabrielle Ramirez lady. What was her name? <laughs> oh, was that her name? I don't know. It's something like that. So, but uh, yeah. So segueing into. Uh, Joe, but I voted uh, in the primary, and I just kind of happed up on it at my son's basketball game. It was at a park. Oh, she's oh he's in L.A., so which restaurant? Okay, turn it up. I want to know what restaurant did he go into. Um, I believe he went into uh, – I wonder if we, we might get – no, I don't think we would get hit with that. No. This is news. So, okay, yeah, so President here? Biden is in the Golden State. He said, hey, you know what? I thought I'd stop by a restaurant to my people and say hello, see what's going on. Oh, that's cool. See, this one's giving a little different view. Like, here he looks coherent. He looks very active. He looks like he's actually interacting. Everything seems fine. 
Yeah, but then he ate some hamburgers and got sleepy. But that's not the real. I wanted to show you the other video, like he that, ate some that's hamburgers and rice, and he got yeah, sleepy. It's not. Like that happened to me too. Probably had some beef tips. Is it just? Is it a black? Is it a soul food restaurant? It's just because you 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 had to tell me it was a black restaurant. That that should make Ann Coulter happy, that the media mentioned it was a black it restaurant. It stopped. Yeah. It w- when? How long ago? We got the report. We got the. Oh, we're still recording audio. Yeah, we're recording. Oh, audio. okay. Well, you can just put a picture up here. It's just the uh, visual version is uh, messed up. Canon. Canon. You can't just plug it in and it has to be stored in the battery. Why does it do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. D, get the iPhone back up there. That one didn't do that. Neither did the webcam. I know. Now we got dead air. Okay. So, hold on. Let me... What? It's not coming back on? Is it dead? No, I mean, we recorded quite a bit. All right. But we still got the audio going. Yeah, yeah, audio's going. Okay, so just throw some shit up during the audio. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where it stopped. So how long? I thought you said you could time it for 40 minutes and it'll keep going. 12 minutes, wow. How many minutes have we been doing? Is the show on there? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, uh, no, we did about, yeah, we did about 10 minutes. Ah, oh, man, that bitch stopped a long time ago. You're going to have to play some of the audio. Oh, God, now we got to take it off? No, I'm just going to take it with the audio. Wow, that's insane. Yeah. So the battery died? Huh? I thought you said the battery was 100%. No, it is. But for some reason, it just stopped recording. The fucking Andre Agassi. He used to advertise that Canon E05. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice camera, though. You should get a press pass and just go take pictures at UF, uh, not UFC, but MMA events or boxing. Damn. That camera, do it. That camera, you don't even have to be a photographer. That bitch would just go, <laughs> you know, you just put it down. Anyway, is the camera back on? The camera's back on. All right. Well, anyway, okay, so what, what restaurant? Okay, you have another video of Biden going? Because that just looked, you got a video of like what he ordered? Uh, Yeah. The, the I had, I had. The other one, but it fell off. Uh, Joseph R. Biden Jr. That's his name. But see, there was a funny where the guy, there, as he walked in, um, so yeah, so he popped in from from he, in LA. He popped in, um, pretty much wanted to go visit this restaurant, and he decided to stop in. And a lot of people took the narrative of saying that it was a black restaurant. <laughs> was it? I uh, see. Watch if I type that in. I bet you. No. Mm-mm. See, I'm already. Who, who emphasized it was a black restaurant? Oh, everybody was talking shit about it because they were like, "What is he doing? Why is he?" Because the way th- the reason they emphasized it was because the reason they did was because of uh, there was a guy in there that just looked at him really weird, and it was just like, "Huh? Um, okay, well, I guess I'll do this." Well, he probably didn't expect Joe Biden to walk in. No. Um, so, you know, I, I, I don't know. If I was in the White House and I saw Joe Biden walk in, I'd be very surprised. So, I can just imagine that you were some restaurant on Normandy and uh, Joe Biden walks in. 
And then I'm going off of uh Damn it. Okay. Uh what else? Okay. Is it is it it probably wouldn't be Joe Biden's video, huh? Joe Biden walking in restaurant. <laughs> No results, huh? It's restaurant. But see, source is where I saw it at. This is where I saw it at. Oh, uh, that's probably so. We'll go down. It was a real. Well, what day was this? Uh, it might be way down there. Yeah, it might be. You're right. Well, I guess we should have stuck to the webcam. Damn, I guess that segment went to shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was weirded out when you said we got to talk about Biden going. Well, to I know what I thought. Like I said, what I thought was well, it was just funny. Um. Yeah. Oh. All right. There's Forbes. Yeah, see, see, the government took it down. That's what happened. The government took it down? <laughs> Maybe. The government took it down. Because it was really funny. Um, Walking in heels. <laughs> that was on there? Yeah. This is going to be him getting off Air Force One. Now they show him getting up off the ground. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess this whole segment was crap. Uh, you know. Well, that camera got me all worried. Oh, what did he order? It's still recording. It's still recording? Good. Joe Biden in restaurant. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, see? yeah. See? See? That's so. what just happened right now. Yeah. Yeah, you keep getting up, though. So you're kind of asking for it. Joe Biden. Joseph R. Biden. Restaurant. Okay. Oh, that is this in Delaware? Yeah, okay. So this isn't. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> so who? So who was imp was it just commenters saying like, "Look at him in a black restaurant." I yeah, that, that's a, that's what I'm saying. It was just like I I can't. <sighs> okay. This says. Oh, this is in Charleston, South Carolina. Was it in Charleston? Uh. Okay. Well, I guess he went to one in Detroit also, February the first, two thousand twenty-four. Uh, he's having the Biden soul food tour, I guess. Well, that's good. Joe Q's black owned restaurant that Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, just Q in. I think that's it. Cause I saw a Q on that thing. I mean, what I can't, I mean, we, I oh, can't, I mean, I'm, I can't, I can't edit this man, but what, what we can, what I can do is go ahead and just bring up that's an Ohio. what I thought was pretty David, uh, Lucas, David Duke. No, David Lucas. No, who's that? I can go off that one. Uh, Joe Biden has been making a. He's been, he gonna get fat. He's been going to a lot of soul food restaurants. Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, he visited a family cookout. We'll, we'll go with this one. Okay, go with it. I'm sorry. Yeah, Eric Fitz and his two teenage sons, Christian and Carter. He visited Raleigh. Eric Fitz is one of the tens of thousands of them. Oh yeah, look, David Lucas got what four nine? Look, four nine nine sponsored me directly. What is he? That do? boy got Roasters Club. Oh, this guy. Oh, you're talking about his George Floyd joke? Yeah, that boy got four nine nine now, which I don't want to do because I don't and have four nine nine. The, the Willie D video. So recently, what happened? David Lucas, about a couple weeks ago, he was in um, doing his comedy. And he starts getting heckling. 
So, have you seen the whole video? Not the whole thing. I saw the George Floyd part. Okay. So, he starts getting heckled. So, now that he's getting heckled, he just starts calling the guy and they go back and forth. And it, 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 he points out as a black guy calling him Titty Man. I still can't see this black ass nigga. So he goes in there. Huh? Yeah, you is, nigga. Your ass is like, you look, you look like big boy after that surgery. <laughs> David Lucas is good, though. I, yeah. I respect the guy. I think he's, he, he's done his time. He's done everything he needed to do to get to where he's at now. He's just doing it. Yeah, so uh, I can fast forward a little bit. Where is he? Huh? You want to come on stage with me? Come on stage, bro. Come on. Man. I believe it was Tennessee, maybe. Uh. Fuck it. This is a late night show, nigga. Come on stage, bro. Come on, nigga. You want to talk all that shit? Bring your ass up here. Let us, let us see some of that, that terrible out. Man, just bring your ass on stage, nigga. Stop yelling from the. You can turn. You can turn. You can turn the shit. Come on, stage, bros. So, I can fast forward it. Man, come on, stage, nigga. That's a good one. It's scary. So he just keeps on back and forth, heckling him, telling him, you know, bullshit. Right, that's, that's his last heckle. The next one get him kicked out if he don't come on stage. And then I believe David Lucas lays it out right there. He says it. Oh, I got a spotlight. So. Hey, if you come on stage, I'll buy you a bucket of beer. <laughs> But I mean, black, black how much is gonna he, take a couple of seconds? I'll buy your whole table around a Hennessy shot. I know that's what y'all drink. I ain't think you wanted no smoke. That nigga wanna talk in the shadows. <laughs> nigga trying to ruin the whole show, man. All these fucking good ass white people at my show. <laughs> See, and then a lot of people didn't like him saying that. And this is when it's gonna. I think it just yeah. The rest of my black fans. And then I can bounce to another one now. So he he said it. Um, we can just go off of that. He said it, and then from there, that's pretty much everybody was trying to cancel him. Mm -hmm. Everybody started coming at him. Within the week, within the week, Willie D here in Houston. Right. Yeah. He had brought him, him over. Yeah, I saw clips a uh, clip or two of that. And then, uh, what did you think of him saying that? Oh God! Uh, you know, he was making a joke. It was in poor taste, but yeah. so many of them are. Um, I don't. You know, everybody talking about he's cooning, cooning for white people, and all that type of shit. I mean, he's. Uh, you know, they all they all don't hit. Yeah. Um, he tried it. Uh, you know, I, I also don't have a problem with the people who were upset, like there. Um. In a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because, you know. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty soon. But uh, I don't have a problem with what he said. Uh, you know, just trying to be uh, very provocative and say something that's very shocking. Um, it's You can tell it's something he had ready in his pocket. That was something he was going to use for uh, effect. <laughs> Because he led into it with you the type of what did he say? You the type of person, you the reason why George Floyd got kneeled on? 
Yeah. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, I wouldn't have done. I would have shot him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't. So, a, so I mean, he, it he, wasn't a great joke either. No, I mean he. I mean he did it in the context of I believe that, obviously he was saying that the guy was heckling him, and then he went on to that joke saying, "Hey, like in reference, like you know, this is why." Which I believe yeah, he, came, he, yeah, <laughs> it came off. You got all these good white people in here. Yeah, because then Willie D gets mad. Willie gets upset, yeah. and then Willie D, next you know, he brings him on. Mm-hmm. And this is a little bit what he said when he came on, which was pretty interesting. And then Willie D. Now that's what's gonna happen. I don't care who the president is. Okay. So if you that that big and bad, if you that big and bad, uh, see, this is him you know, pretty much. You did you watch this episode? I saw the system like that, bits and pieces. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be have all these charges against you if you was that What's he talking about now? Trump ain't that oh, he's talking about <coughs> Donald Trump. Y'all think he all Yeah, this is where they start going in back and forth about how uh So David Lewis is obviously educated. I mean, he he knows. I mean, I'm gonna say he's educated. I don't know if he has a degree or anything, but I mean, he, he's not a dumb guy. He puts two and two together. Yeah. Uh, having so, so my whole point here. Having, was, uh, hold on. So, yeah. so he's saying he's a Republican so because he has with being money. That's yeah. all I care about. Okay. So, and some of the okay. some of the views. Black people are Republican. Okay. So so he black people are Republican <laughs> because uh, I'm assuming you grew up Baptist. I mean, but. Yeah. Well, come, come on, man. We're yeah, but Republican. Baptist. Does he mean right leaning or center right? Is that what he means? Did it come off again? Yeah. Is that what he means? Yeah, you know, I want people to shut up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to pick that one up. Yeah. What do you say about gay people? Uh, eat fruit for their mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is sick. Come on, man. You're trying to save his sponsors right now. What is I thought we were coming here to have a sponsor. candid, got candid conversation. I'll hook you up with something. No, no, yeah. Please do. I will. I will. Please I really do. like your podcast. But um, what does the Bible talk about? Right is right and wrong is wrong. Why does the black community not get that? Right is right and wrong is wrong. So what is he talking about? Yourself. Can I play devil's advocate? I don't know how your audience will take this. Yeah. What's this word that black people like to use all the time when it only benefits them? Karma. Uh. So, so black people got to lock on the word karma? I mean, I've never heard a white person say karma. What? I've never heard a white person say karma. No, have y'all? Yes. I've heard too many people say karma because they don't understand karma because they're not Hindu. All right, well, David they talk Lewis. about karma in such a stupid, simplistic way. Karma is a part of an entire religion's ideology and their theology. But people say, you know, you do bad things, bad stuff happen to you. That's karma. That's not exactly it. It's a little bit deeper than that. No, I, I think he's David a little. He, he, is dumb. He, he's young. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's talking about George Floyd. Yeah. Whether your child lives or dies. Yeah, that was rough. Yeah, who told you she said that? Yeah. It was in the, the police report. report. The police report. Right. What the Willie D. don't believe in the police the report. Police that was that, 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 that was the ladies. Uh, with the people who killed George Floyd. I'm, Go ahead. I'm playing devil's advocate, sir. Okay. Are you? Devil's advocate. That's it. But he, whether he said. I, that I guess he's not, trying to justify why he said the joke now. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that's not why. But you don't justify it that way. You justify it as I was I was making a joke. You know, it didn't go over, but whatever. It went over with some of the people, but even the white... I mean, everybody was kind of yeah. uh, freaked out. It, it's like making 9-11 jokes, you know? People still go... Ugh. Oh, yeah, they still make, make them. <laughs> they do. There was a guy in the military that he was a call at the 9-11 special. 
<laughs> yeah. He, he was a. Uh, I don't know the dude was Hindu or I don't know what he was. But he was definitely Middle Eastern. Then he goes on and on about how uh our people right now. We can go down that down that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we're just watching the Willie D interview. But uh okay. I mean, I guess. Uh I mean uh I mean, I don't think it took all this. I mean, I guess people need content, but I don't think it took all this. It wasn't that. Um, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it was that serious. I, I think Willie D's the one that made it more of a big deal yeah, about they it. They got into a discussion, and then he brought him over to Houston. Depth. And then, um, even when David Lucas said he was here in Houston, he said that he really didn't even, uh, pretty much, didn't. So he doesn't associate with many people down here in Texas because mm-hmm. of that being said now even more he says yeah it's right he says a lot of people now that are wasn't like, in Houston though when he said that because it would have no no hell no it wasn't in Houston yeah. but but I guess he picks and chooses then too like you know who went up yeah it was definitely an interesting time to come with that with that one I mean and, and even he'd been insulting the guy I mean I understand what he was trying to do he's trying to be shocking yeah uh, unfiltered and all that good stuff you know um, cringe if you will. And you know whatever, uh, it'll it ain't that big. It'll blow over. Uh, I think he'll still have his fans, and he'll still have some black fans after a while. Um, but you know, I mean, he did a better job of. Ex- I saw when he cleared the room. Not mm-hmm. even cleared the room when the black when some of the black people left. I saw that, and he did a better job of defending himself there than he did on Willie D's show. Um, and then I think your defense is just yeah. I told the joke. Then we get into what well, you're Republican. You got a nice car. Like what? Yeah, like, but I mean, like those aren't just strictly. Rep- See, he, he's out of it. Maybe he means. Does he mean you're uh, conservative in a lot of ways? But okay, that's fine. See, the problem anyway is is, is we look at things in in a dichotomy because we have two parties. Right, right, right. So you associate certain things with Republican. Well, he likes money. But, yeah, there's corporatist Democrats also. And there's people that are in between. Yes, you can care about your finances and also care about other things, too. Uh, I don't know. Well, you're black, right? You don't like gay people. Uh, Okay. What? (laughs) Well, you went to church, right? Yeah, a lot of people go to church. You know, black people have no respect for the law. Yeah, I mean, but a lot of people don't have respect for the law. There's different crimes that are committed. Uh, black people need to chill on a lot of what we do, but I, I, I just, yeah, I don't know how educated he is. Uh, he, he's just, you know, th- those are things that he hears um, on the internet, and he repeats them. Because the, the conversation wasn't going to get to the depth that it should have gotten anyway. No, I know that. If you're no. going to be talking about things like yeah. that. But he equated Republican with, you know, uh, I don't know. The, the thing about the two parties, you just got to pick the one that's closest to you because you can uh, be you can be anti-gay, anti your finances, and also think, ah, oh, you know, uh, I think we spend too much money on the military, and maybe we should fund some things. You mentioned funding mental health, yeah. right? Well, no, that yeah, I mean, nobody funds that. No, nobody, nobody. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, if, you, if you're having, you know, heart so trouble, if you're you having. Can also, you can like also that. want people to. You can also want funding for mental health and yeah. not be a Republican, or and like your finances, and you know, you got to pick which one is better. Right. You know, I mean, if you, yeah, I don't know. It's not like I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, it, I know we're all over the place. No, we're not. <laughs> well, they were all over the place. Yeah. And everything. Okay, well, now what happened to Hulk Hogan? No, nah, I, I was just going to just show. Oh, here in this one? Yeah, why are you showing Hulk Hogan? Oh, this one was just uh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, when he saved someone? No, he actually showed up to his uh, oh, his son. Nick, his, Nick, so Nick, his Nick, son. Nick's still drinking and driving? Yeah. Nick's wilding. Nick, He's still drinking and driving. Nick so put then that kid in a wheelchair. The Hulkster came to yeah. help out. Well, of course he did. 
Hulkster decided to help out oh, look at Hulk Hogan, his son, man. which is just he's like I think he's just side. like any other normal dad. You well, know? yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, he's the he's the Hulkster though, you know. <laughs> uh, he's Terry. He, he's got on a Hollywood shirt. That's the crazy thing. He was just yeah. wearing that. He's was just wearing a shirt with his picture on it. Especially the Hollywood. Oh man, he ain't working out no more. He's an old man. Oh, what happened to Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I'm old. Hey, but Jesus. Know. Yeah, man, look at him, man. Even, even, even. There's no definition. I'm, I'm sure these cops are like, "Yo, man, like, like your son doesn't get it." Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, "What the fuck is wrong like, with him? He's Hulk Hogan's son." Like, what's and up? And they're discussing, like, you know, telling him, "Hey, drinking and driving again, bro." Yeah. So Hulk Hogan's got a walk. If, an if, African walk if nobody stick. knows about uh, the Hulk Hogan saga, the Hulk Hogan saga was. Um, yeah, the mega powers against the mega bucks. Well, I mean, no, I mean, I can only really imagine how many times this guy's been to court, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah, but I'm just saying in general, with his son j- yeah, in the, the very Hulk beginning, saga, and then that's when they were doing that VH1 show. Um, oh, I think yeah, a little I bit after that, that, they found out his, you know, his son was into cars racing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. He had a buddy that was a veteran. Right. Yeah. Just got out of the Marines, or I believe I, I don't know what brand, but I believe it was Marines. It was the Marines. I remember. Got out. Ran this into is a when tree. I was watching Hogan knows best. He ran. The, he ran into a tree, and then yeah, the guy ended up big pretty much living living on in a wheelchair now for the rest of his life. Yeah, and he's, he's like disabled. not okay. Yeah, it's he's not, not like yeah. he's just got a, in a wheelchair. Yeah. So, and yeah, then now and fast Nixon, forward. Yeah, no. This just recently did, happened. Yeah. Like did within he go the beginning to jail of the year. For that at all? Um, yeah. I remember he was in jail, but did he go to prison? No. Well, for like vehicular. No. Yeah. 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 He did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I went there that long, that long, but he was definitely. Uh, who's jail. this? Is that Nick's truck? Yeah, the TRX. And that's a why, why wasn't she driving? Uh, who is that? There, there's Where's three, Brooke? There's three people in there. Yeah, and need, need, none of them. They, they actually, I don't know. I mean, I guess none of them volunteered to drive. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they're still hanging out with Nick even after that shit, getting in the car with him. Look, if a Hulk, Hulkster's probably Hulk Hogan's probably calling Miss Hogan. Or no, it makes ex Hogan. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he has to call the mom. The mom is still. They're still in Florida, so they're still there. Yeah, but I bet she ain't gonna show up. Oh no, no, no. Nick seemed to be closer to Hulk anyway. I remember that episode when. See, you would think the cop would know. It's not his first DUI, bro. Do you know? <laughs> no, but that cop's probably 27. He wasn't. He was in second grade when Hogan knows best was. He didn't give a fuck about Hulk Hogan. He was drunk. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. boom. I got pulled over. Busted. Once. <laughs> and, and, and hold on. So, so they blew him? I mean, it's pause. He blew? Not yet. But when they pulled up, he, he they smelled alcohol on his person. Yeah, they, or they probably were like, "You're Nick Hogan, huh?" You're well, drunk. no, he he apparently diverted the cop or something. The cop was like, "Hey, did you not see my lights?" He was like, "Ah, uh, uh, yeah." They were so he was like either late reaction or some shit. No, they were eating the weed. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then of course, poor Hulk Hogan's been to court for, I guess the the film. Oh, Bubba the Love Sponge. Yeah, yeah. Bubba. Yeah. Bubba's oh, like, hey, yo, have sex with my wife. Go I know. Yeah, Hogan did go over there to Den of Iniquity. Okay. Hulk Hogan was just like, hey, I'm just, you know, just going to have sex with her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then talk about yeah. niggers. You know, whatever. Yeah, you it's know. weird how white men bust nuts and just start saying <laughs> niggers. It's an odd thing. Same thing happened. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of sad when he said that shit. I was like, Damn. Yeah, I know, you know. Yeah, so that's uh, it was weird because he was like, anyway, yeah. He was like, because I I remember in that the weird thing, I was like, Hogan's dumb, okay, because this is what he said. I remember he was putting his pants on. I remember he was, yeah, I ate a bunch of sushi before I got over here. So Hulk was had gas and was banging bubbles. Oh God, they had cameras everywhere. Anyway, so when (laughs) I remember he's putting his pants on, I remember that was the part. And he was like, yeah, now Brooke, this and that. I put all this money in her career, which was his fault because she couldn't sing. She was terrible. <laughs> right? Brooke Hogan was awful. Yeah. She's still singing. She's still trying Is to do she? that Is she? Why? Shit. She's still trying to do that shit. Why? I, I guess, know. I mean, because she can. Like, what am I talking yeah, about? Yeah, she's rich. She should probably 
have gone to Yale or some shit because she had access to the best private schools and everything. But whatever. Be a pop star, big girl. Big old tall Amazon pop star. I wonder how that would have worked. Anyway, so he was like, yeah, she's dating some black billionaire's son. And she was dating. I remember it because they were on. He was, she, she was on Howard Stern with the guy. Yeah. And uh, he was like, yeah, I mean, I don't mind. I was like, just get a basketball player, a football player. Some nigger that's worth $30 million. I'm like, but didn't you say his dad's a billionaire? Like, why would you want somebody worth $30 million? I guess Hulk wants a super genetic child. I don't know what the fuck Hulk. Oh, hold on. Is this about him shitting on that lady? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to get into it. Did they already do something about his... Um, no, well, they're still... So... Well, yeah, I'm talking about the, the, the thing that recently came out with him exploiting that young girl. Vince is wild. Vince no, so nuts. so what I want to just point out is I've the fact that... Jim Cornette talk about it. That's all Vince McMahon got charged with... Well, he hadn't been charged with different. anything. Well, no, I mean, because they're still trying to figure out if it's going to either be civil or criminal. Well, of I mean, what's she didn't file any up. criminal charges. Yeah, no, she but I'm saying like... Civil because I guess she she agreed to it. I don't know. I think this dude just like so powerful that he's just to- so untouchable that it just went on for so long. Because he, I think for a while he's been paying out. I mean, his own, his own family, uh, they, they didn't end up taking over the Yeah, the, did you the read the text business. though? Like he was wild. Yeah, the texts were fucking crazy. The text is yeah. just, he's talking about all types of crazy shit. I know. He's into gonzo porn. He's, he's, uh, he's, then I can even go into the Puff Daddy thing too. I mean, is this, is this like a, a normal thing for guys who. Well, it's weird how people get money, like they get rich and they just become sexual deviants and they go to like Epstein Island and shit. Like, why didn't anybody become Batman? You know, like Bruce Wayne or some shit. Like, no, that, that's not real. What happens is you become a billionaire, you become a sexual deviant. Like, why don't you just become Batman? Why don't you just fight crime? Like, what the fuck? Why do you have to become uh, yeah, this, this guy here a just, sexual deviant? Um, so, yeah, that's odd. But I think um, the most common thing is just that you have money, you become... Yeah, but like, a, it, it, it's like, I don't know why it was so... I don't know. The, the text is what makes it crazier. And he was like offering her up to people. Yeah. One of them was a former UFC heavyweight champion. I guess we know who that is. Brock? Who the fuck else? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And then It's not fucking Mari Smith. No. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that but I mean, not- but but like I said, I just find the connection with just I mean, you got that much money. And then what was so weird about the whole situation is that within the week or two weeks, they were already closing the merge with him and Yeah, TKO, the, yeah. Yeah, with Saudi guy. Arabia and the whole and that whole merger, and then, yeah. and um, you know, like, but but then he stepped away, and pretty much, I guess, whatever they had to do to yeah. technically step step away from WWE, yeah. and then Rock, Dwayne the Wayne Johnson stepped right in and filled his shoes. Well, yeah, to be well, like pretty much, I don't know, like I feel the Rock is, you know, I wouldn't say. I mean, really. I mean, it's kind of like, come on, Rock. Like the you, Rock's you, back you, with the bloodline. Yeah, I mean, bro, you, you him you, and Roman Reigns. You, you know, uh, like you know what he's been doing. Like, you know, I like, don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. From what I've heard, and 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 I listen to some wrestling podcasts, and I, particularly Jim Cornette, and that fool was like, I had Vince was nothing like that. He couldn't believe it. So I don't know. Yeah, he might have been a sexual deviant this whole time. You thought it would have come out, but the way, like the the text and the way he was into just abusing this girl was wild. But but the word of uh, human trafficking came into there. Well, yeah. That yeah. Well, that's the thing. Human trafficking encompasses a lot of things because he was making her have sex with other men. So that's like, and then offering her up. But it was the so same. So that's sh- like pimping. Like, it was, like, the, it was the It same. used to be called compelling prostitution. But, but it was the same shit with Cassie and Puff Daddy. It was. The well, same, yeah, yeah. It was the, the same, same shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was yeah. claiming like that trafficking. I was like. Mm-hmm. It's called human trafficking now. That's what, that's what they do to keep. It, it kind of is. But see, but, but see, what I think is another funny thing is, is that all this happens in America, which I would think it'd be more common in other countries. Where nah, it's very it common. Be, it's, but but it's, it's probably it seems, it seems like it's common more than common than here in America. Nah, than, it just comes out. Like, what do you mean? Well, I mean, as in it being like wrong and this and that, which I feel in other countries they they sometimes feel like it's not like it's a normal deal. Like, 
They just turn their head the other way. I I don't know. Well, no, I, I mean I'm just basing on things that I've. I mean I'd say I've seen that shit overseas. But oh I'm well, saying, no, no, no. But you're I was talking saying, about prostitution. Yeah, I'm saying. Well, yeah, yeah but yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. how they make their money. That's that's why people go. <laughs> that's why white dudes go to Thailand. Oh yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> of course. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like it, it just. Uh, it's just crazy. Not just white dudes. Either. Well, no. I, okay, dudes okay, I, I, okay. I would, Sorry. I would say the other thing. Why, why aren't these guys just going ahead? Why not just go ahead and just go to Thailand or go to another? country? No, that's not what he wanted to dominate yeah. this. It was a very sick thing, and you know he wanted to dominate this girl. Like well, go to Thailand. That's not what he wanted. He, he wasn't trying to go pay for it. He was. I don't know. I guess he paid for. It. I don't. I don't know. I don't understand the motivation at all. Yeah. And then you just. But but what the problem was, he had a. They had an NDA and he stopped paying her. Yeah. So what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. So you had that, gotten away with it. I mean, and it wasn't. Uh, he, 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 she yeah, did say that, that he one. forced himself on her, and so did John Laurinaitis forced himself on her. She did, and she said Vince shitted on her. Uh, but that might have just been incontinence, right? That might not have been like yeah, he yeah, was yeah. trying to shit on her. He is eighty. That and that's she was like twenty one and she's he that dude's in better shape than me. No, he's not. He's still eighty. <laughs> I mean, he's like, pretty old. Yeah, he's like eighty, fool. Like I, I don't care how good a shape you know. He he's been lifting weights a long time, so he probably does look better. Well, he looks good for his age, but being eighty is a disease. It's not nobody that's eighty is doing well. <laughs> In the group. You could die at any moment. And they're like, well, wh- what happened? He's like, he was 80. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like when people, people, I, I, I've heard people say, like, I remember they were like, the government killed Dick Gregory because he was in great shape. I'm like, but he was 82 or whatever. Like, what are you talking about? Dr. Sabi too. I'm yeah. like, when you're 80, bro, like, it could, it could happen. I've seen 70 year olds that are doing pretty well, but 80, 80 is kind of that one. Once you hit 80, it could go at any moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, and you shouldn't even expect to live from moment to moment. I'm not going to when I'm 80. Hopefully, I'll make 80. Yeah, but your a, 80s he's, he's is like real bad. Two years younger than my dad. Yeah. Or a year younger or some shit. Yeah. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So. Yeah, wilding out. Oh, 79 man. years old, just shitting on girls. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, the camera stopped again. Ah, you know, it happens. It's one but of I mean, those the audio, we have audio. Yeah, we have audio, and we can do this a few more minutes. Yeah. No, that's, that's probably going to end up right now. I know, but we need to get more in-depth into Vince McMahon once we get the – because I, I really want to talk about this. I'm a big wrestling guy. Like, uh, Paul, I don't know. Like, from back in the day, professional wrestling. Like, yeah. I, don't, I, I couldn't give a fuck about real wrestling. That fake shit. Well, no, I, I, what, what, what just brings me to life is just the, the, all that money that's involved, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting, you know, he, he killed uh, wrestling for me. Uh, I'm a Mississippi boy. I grew up on the NWA. So he killed, I never, I, the WWF, you know, it was always on WWE, so I watched it. But, yeah, my favorite shit was the real wrestling. That seemed real. Oh. Uh, it was still real to me, damn it. Vince McMahon, funny skits. You're going to look up some of his. And then some of this shit. Like, what are they going to do? Because, you know, they wiped Chris Benoit clean, right? <laughs> you can't go on the WWE Network yeah. and find Chris Benoit video. Yeah. You have to go to straight to YouTube, some shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they wiped Chris Benoit. But Vince was in so, especially the Attitude Era. Vince was the villain. Vince was the main heel. So anything Stone Cold did, anything The Rock did after a while, Vince, Sean, Vince was involved. Vince was always yeah. out there talking, so you can't just wipe him clean. Yeah, yeah. And then even the early WWF, it was all just, it was him on commentary, him and yeah. Jesse Ventura. What do you do? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Mr. McMahon was real. Like, that wasn't a character. I That's watched, how he really was. I watched some documentary, and the documentary, like you said, it was a, it was a known, like, Saga and the whole WWE WWE. What did he but, was doing this? Well, no, to yeah, women? yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying when he when he switched to that whole persona, like you're yeah, saying, like, like you're fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He became Mr. McMahon. Because I remember before we knew, I remember when he announced he was the owner. I, we just thought he was. Uh, yeah, I just a thought commentator. He, yeah, yeah. You didn't know that. That's how dope it was. You had but no idea. The, but maybe it was just part of. But see, well, this, you did. I remember when the steroid shit hit, and he was on Donahue. I'm like, that's the announcer. <laughs> They're like, no, I, I I own this shit. Like what? He had to come out of the closet then. 
I don't know. I I, I kind of fell off like after it became WWE. I kept in touch with WWE, and then yeah, yeah you know, I mean, and after I, and, that, I and I still off. check in just off of tradition. I don't know everybody now, but I still just because I grew up on pro yeah. wrestling, so I still check in and st- I still listen to the, I listen to old wrestling podcasts. I listen to Jim Cornette a lot, and I watch shoot interviews. That's my. I'm sorry. Okay, but what okay, let's know. but let's say it turns out to be criminal, and then they do charge him. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna turn I, out I, to be. Criminal, I don't. I don't even. Man, but even if it bad. was, I, I mean, he's eighty some years old. With, with it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be her saying, "Yeah, he forced himself on me." I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe it can become criminal, but it's it's way worse. I mean, that's you know, going to jail is. Yeah. I don't, Did I don't you ever? I mean, I'm going. I'm getting now. I'm even getting really. Like kind of going off the map, but uh, the uh, DJ that used to be in Europe, he was like the one of the known first DJs, like commentator, play music and DJ. So he made so much music in Europe that he ended up, uh, I guess, pretty much doing his own uh, foster homes, or no, I'm sorry, orphanages. Oh God! I yeah, dude. That's a recipe for disaster. I can. Yeah, I mean, we can get into that. that. We can get into that thing later. Who but is but that? but my point is, comparison to him, I, I feel the guy got away. Cause he never got charged. Mm. It didn't come in until he died, and then a lot of the kids that were kids were adults at the time, and then they started coming out with all these stories. In Europe, he was a DJ. Like he was in, yeah, UK. I mean, he wasn't like scratching and shit, but I mean, I'm saying he was a DJ. That oh, you're talking about that uh, Jerry, uh, uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry, Jerry Naval, or um, yeah. No, it's not Jerry Naval. It's a. Uh, no, you get uh, Jerry yeah. Judy. You got no, football uh, highlights. No, it was um. That's what you're talking about. That dude with the glasses. Uh, what was his fucking name? I would have known it if you hadn't said it. Uh, See, I'm gonna put UK DJ. Yeah, Jimmy Seville. Yeah, Seville. exactly. Yeah, he's an odd looking guy. Yeah, okay. So he did like Top of the Pops, right? Yeah, look at that weirdo. Yeah, yeah, and he and he used to grant wishes to children. He was a weirdo, man, and he took advantage of all these kids. And I mean, I, I can only imagine. But I feel it's the same persona. It's the same persona, like like Puff Daddy. I have to say because he's been accused. Um, now Vince McMahon, another one that's been accused. <laughs> and then this guy, he fucking got away. He fucking yeah, he died. did because he died. Yeah, Jimmy Savile. Yeah. But th- this is a fucking weirdo, man. Like, yeah, know, I know. Like, I, like, like, I saw him, and you're wondering, how did he become a star? We have weird, stupid people become stars over here. But Jesus, bro, like the British. But, but my point was that I was making the connection was that I feel it's almost the same connect because there's words they're saying that like that guy he was linked into the to the um, Illuminati or the Eps- no nah, Epstein was after him. No, well, I mean, his, his pretty, pretty much the par- dope, the parliament over there in the UK, the parliament. You know, he well, he I, I was mean, like he, a I national mean, hero. So yeah, I mean, that's but, one of those but, things that uh, and look, look how enamored they are with him. They're like, oh my god, it's Jimmy Savile. Yeah, he's probably like, yo, he used to like mess with me when I was little. Now, now look at me, I got you know, I'm pretty screwed up now. Well, I don't think uh, these aren't. This is him on Big Brother. This is the people he touched. These are people who still think it's Jimmy Savile. Yeah, but I'm sure that at this point they already heard. Well, what are they talking about here? Is this Uh, when they're talking about? I'm just showing video. We had you touch children. (laughs) We had you do that. He's like, I like to watch, you know. I'm like, what were you talking about? So I haven't. Cheerio. (laughs) Cheerio. But yeah, man, weirdo, rich weirdo. They're all. That's the most common thing. Everybody's rich. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what probably gives you the... If if Homeboy was, you know, normal dude, whatever, he would have been caught already. Well, yeah, I mean, money does create a nice barrier for you, and, and fame is even worse. And then when you're an institution, and then when you're an industry, I'm sure there were thousands of people who got paid off of this guy. Yeah. Just off of Jimmy Savile. I don't understand why, how he got so popular, but... You know, I'm not British either. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. guess I, I guess I just brought up some connections there. You know, from I mean connections, whatever. Like my whole thing, I don't know why people get rich. And are you a sexual deviant first, or do you become one afterwards? I don't know. The Vince McMahon thing, like this here, this guy is a pedophile who. Uh, I mean, what's the best way to become a pedophile? Is the, to say you love children and do this. 
There was another guy that was a talk show host, and he was, uh, I don't know what his name was, but he used to kiss little kids on the fucking... Yeah, well, I saw that video. Yeah, that dude was weird. Yeah, that was on... He, yeah. did, a, he did a show with little kids. Yeah, I'm like, huh? And he was like, give me a kiss. Yeah. It's like, bro, <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, give me a, Like, huh? Yeah. And that, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's how it, you know, it messes up kids when they're younger, you know? Uh, it, like I said, I, I don't know. It's just something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. It's a very odd thing how Tough, uh, I don't know how many. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't get it. Uh, how he got away with it and how nobody said anything. And I guess people said they're like, "No, J- Jimmy wouldn't do that." Yeah. Now Jimmy touched me. He did more than touch me. Like it's crazy, but I guess you know. Uh, I don't know. Was he giving? <laughs> he's like, I, he's like, I'm gonna give you a, an Arsenal jersey. So I guess, man, we'll end it yeah. there. It's like I'm gonna, yeah. I guess you pay for a kid to go to the FA Cup, you know. And then <laughs> the kid's like, "What I have to do? Open your mouth." So I guess I found out the camera don't work now. Yeah. So at least we got audio though. We're gonna go to the FA Cup, <laughs> but first you got to do something for Jimmy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe maybe this episode we will just go ahead and just put our our faces on there. Maybe I'll put that old. Yeah, one. man, you might as well since the cannon <laughs> is not working. Just put a picture of Andre Agassi on yeah. there while we're talking. His pussy ass. Put it on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andre Agassi. <laughs> it's not your fault. Danny's probably using the camera. It's probably a setting that's like. Nah, it's, like it's on movie, and then like the thing is just it just. Yeah, you couldn't do a movie here. But see, then the other thing I was gonna have to bring the whole. Oh, no, 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 no. I get it. Yeah. And this is probably going to work at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll work. Well, yeah, hopefully. Mm-hmm. So, Hi there. Would you like to go to Wembley Stadium? So some people... I'd uh, love to go to Wembley Stadium. I only had a few people in my life. Well, Do you want to meet Sir Bobby Robson? Yeah, Jimmy Savile. <laughs> the fuck? And who is this? Oh, that's Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho? Is this the Macho thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, this is that. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, yeah, Macho did play baseball. Yeah. Yeah, Macho Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was a badass baseball player before he even became Yeah, one. he was a badass motherfucker. I mean, that's yeah. another angle. We could we can always just end it off with talking about we wrestling. Do a show about Macho Man. No, nah, I would say just about wrestling in general. Just yeah, 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 yeah. I think we got hit with the copyright yeah. on that last one. What happened? I don't know. I don't even Probably know. Probably might get hit with this. No. Nah. No, nah, well, because we're not. You know, video. Ran- there's no that's video. That's the genius. That's Randy Poffo. That's. But there's no video. No, nah, it's uh, what's his name? Randy Poffo is Macho Man, and he's uh, Lenny Poffo. It's his brother. He was the genius. Really? Yeah. Remember the genius? Uh-oh. Uh, of course not. I remember him. Yeah. Lanny Poffo. He actually used the last name. Like, Macho was in a different, um, you know, M- Macho's dad had a wrestling promotion that was like a renegade promotion that wasn't in the NWA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they got TV and stuff, so, like, people saw Randy on that. And then Randy went to Memphis. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's when he, then he jumped on, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then went to the WWF. Then went WCW. Yeah, Randy Savage was a motherfucker, bro. I love Randy Savage. Oh, dude, he's an icon, man. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, what I, but also I think it's a good example of uh, one door closes and another one opens. Mm-hmm. Then cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but that's just so sad because uh, I feel even at that time, a lot of, they didn't know, man. They just fucking, they were just doing. <laughs> I mean, they knew, was. but I'm saying like as in, how far doing all the drugs, steroids? Yeah, I mean it was shit. a different time. So, like, they you just, know, they d- and, thought it was just not, oh, like it, w- it normal. was just it was a lifestyle. It was a lifestyle. Look at Dan Soder. Like, why is he talking about it? I should be talking. I know why he is. He's kind of popular, but why don't they have like actual wrestlers? Yeah. The other thing I could do is They're also when I'm doing this, Lanny Poffo. I can grab the video. Like it might it would take me a little bit longer, but either throw pictures of what we're talking about and mm-hmm. kind of have it like. Kind of look at Ox Baker this. heart punch. Ox Baker would do the heart punch. That was illegal. It it killed people. 
But yeah, ma- Macho Man Randy Savage. I I don't know how many. Th- I I can't. I, I lost count how many times I used to see him on uh, WWF. Oh, he was. But he, but I mean that, and then even when ICW. My, yeah, that was when their, my uh, when my parents when promotion. my dad used to take me to the uh, um, summit, which is now Lakewood Church. But yeah, um, yeah, there we would go and you know and, and I don't know. We would, he would always put us around the ring. So Hulkster. Yeah. But yeah, man, we'll go ahead and there, man. All right. Yeah. Look how big those arms are on that action figure. <laughs> oh, I crazy. saw it. So Hogan who, got out looking like an old man. So wait, 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 who was the other the guy that was the cop? I saw that's the, the big one boss I put, man. Yeah. Ray see, Trailer. Yeah, real quick. Let me put that one real quick. Yeah, Ray Trailer. He died young too. Big boss, but it was Big Boss Man and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was Big Bubba Rogers at first, I think. What about Big Boss Man from Cobb County, Georgia? Yeah, he used to beat you with a nightstick. Oh, yeah, they See, became was... one of the guardian angels. Oh, with Slick. Yeah, Slick was his manager. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the most, this is the one, my favorite one right here. Yeah, Bruce Pritchard, his brother love. Yeah, this is my favorite. You definitely gonna get a copyright. So for we're this watching one. the. Oh, but uh, it's not showing, so we're just watching. We're watching the uh, Hulk I Hogan. Love you. Hulk Hogan against um, Big Boss Man. Mm. I remember when Hulk and Macho got into it over Elizabeth. And Macho I, didn't like nobody messing with Elizabeth. I could kind of skip ahead, but uh, yeah, on this skip one, ahead. On on this, but I, what I thought was just funny was just like they uh, start beating the shit out of him. <laughs> they even spray him in the face with a bunch of crap. Look at Slick. Slick was just a manager. Yeah, he was a manager. I yeah, know. but but I forgot how many. Who else did he? Um, manage. Uh, he had the one man gang. He had uh, then then he became uh, Akeem, the African Dream. He had Kamala. Um, yeah, see, Slick I think, had a I bunch think, of. I fools. think this is the part. Where, where is yeah, Slick had a bunch of fools. <laughs> yeah, then he gets behind Boss Man. But I always remember Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man. I, 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 for some reason, I just hated the fact that he was one of those cops that looked like. <laughs> yeah, he did look like. It, yeah. He like one of those cops that just like wanted to like beat the shit out of yeah, you. Yeah, but for Big no Boss reason. Man could move in the ring. Like he was great, man. Like he, he really. Yeah, Big Boss. And man. then I mean, even when me heard then he him, wrestled in uniform. That's the crazy thing. It, even me thinking back now, man. Like how many injuries these guys used to go through. Yeah, all the time. They're both hurting right now. <laughs> And then I, I always never understood that, like how he always like he was like a preacher. Yeah, he was. He was an evangelist. But you know, you remember what was going <laughs> on at this time. It was Jimmy Swaggart and Jim Baker, and all those evangelists yeah. were getting big. So that's what he was a parody of. It was a good gimmick, though. Yeah, yeah. You would think Hulk Hogan would be like. Uh, you think he'd be like. Uh, Big as fuck, Jesus! This motherfucker was huge. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying you would think that he would have noticed the motherfucker had a spray paint or like some type of spray. And just, no, he boom. was a good guy. Like, <laughs> he, he didn't expect that. Yeah, what, like he's a baby. F- oh god! And then he he's sprays like, his eyes. He yeah. A, yeah. He's yeah. like, oh man, the Hulkster. The Hulkster's yeah, on the know. ground now. And then, yeah, Big Boss Man. Yeah, Big so, Boss Man should definitely lose his job for this because this is assault. Like this is crazy. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like, and this is almost traumatizing yeah, to me yeah. when I was a kid. I was like, okay, yeah. a cop's beating down the yeah, Hulkster, you know? I know. It's, it's, and it's a precursor <laughs> to the Rodney King beating. Yeah. I was like, okay. He like, used to beat people with a nightstick in the ring. I was like, you know, now he's about to handcuff him. <laughs> yeah. Like, how the fuck did Boss Man, what kind of internal affairs division did they have in Cobb County, Georgia? Yeah, he handcuffs him to Number the, one, he was missing so much time from work. And like, yeah. I mean, that would take some skill to actually hit him with the stick and not really hit him with the stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But, I mean, at the same time, they're really... <laughs> yeah, he was hitting him a little bit. Yeah, he I mean, look at that. He's, like, him. choking the shit out of him, too. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, like this is very. Uh, this is definitely no, but, police brutality. But see, this is why also I like watching these because it makes me think. Like, damn, I was actually watching this when I was a kid. You know? Yeah, it was high theater. This is <laughs> wonderful. Like, it's it's crazy. It's kind of a. Hulk Hogan said, "Brother a lot. He's from Florida. You know, he's just a black man getting beat. He's very tanned, and look at him. He's hulking up. <laughs> exactly like, yeah, like I'm the Hulkster. Yeah, he should bullet. be unconscious. He was really beaten with that stick, and in his eyes, he was spray painted in the eye. Like, why isn't Slick just uh, Slick? Like, come on, boss man, <laughs> let's get out of here. Yeah, he's like, yo, man, get me out of these handcuffs. And then like somebody does something to you like this, and you're like, I'll see you at fucking SummerSlam. It's like, no, bitch, I gotta kill you. <laughs> <laughs> like, you really should have yeah. killed me. Like, this is not. Uh, this is the woo off with Ric Flair and Jay and Jay Lethal. Yeah, this was a great moment in wrestling, even though it was on TNA. Wow. Well, man, I guess we'll end it there. Yeah, we can end it there. We're ending it with uh, watching Ric Flair, but. All right, guys, this is the end of episode 30. DJ Styles. Desmond it's going to be partly video, partly Bobby audio, Lee. partly pictures, uh, but at least the audio is out there. Um, please listen. Cowboy um, also, James subscribe. Stone. Subscribe. Beer money. Please like if you can. Yeah, like it or love it if you can. It's a homely Maybe woman I can get that recorded. Real quick. All right, uh, guys, uh, guys and girls, it's episode uh, 30, the ending of it. Um, till next time, episode 31. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. So that's it. Yeah, we can probably make something to this. We were all <laughs> over the place, but I'm, it's I'm okay. We're going to be at least two times a month now. Cool, man. Yeah, I'll actually watch some things. You so, see, I perked so, up with wrestling. You so like, Ahmad Biden. and I will be back. Fuck that. Let's talk about old wrestling. So we'll be back till March, all right? So we'll see y'all. Have a good night. Good night. Uh, March? Yeah, I got spring oh. break coming. Up. Oh, God. No, don't do that to your legs. Yeah, I know. That was the whole conversation we had earlier.